here again with another Big Bang Theory Season 7 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you aren't caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching the Big Bang Theory, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description if that happens to be the case so you're not caught up. It would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to stay away from what may be spoilers. This will be the Big Bang Theory Season 7, Episode 18. The title of this episode is called The Mummy Observation. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. It's dinner time, and while Sheldon is in Texas, Raj is sitting in his spot. So he was mad that he had to sit on the floor before. Then they got the dining room table and he sat at that. Then went back to the floor. And now since Sheldon's gone, he can rest comfortably in Sheldon's spot. And Stuart comes over. Then all of a sudden, Stuart pretends like he's choking or something to that degree. And falls on the floor. It's a Kuthra Polly murder mystery dinner. Dun dun dun! Howard got Sheldon a Buzz Aldrin bobblehead doll. And Sheldon's bringing the gift of knowledge to dinner at his mom's place. Raj says that he was a fat kid in India when he was younger and at one point was 200 pounds. It's not true. Raj is just storytelling. This is going nowhere. Penny needs another clue. She goes to grab another beer. Apparently, Sheldon's mom was getting busy with uh, another person, so Sheldon and Howard have to leave because he didn't tell his mom he was coming over at that point. So they go to the bar and have drinks. Howard says he's a grown, uh, she's a grown woman and uh, his dad's been gone for a long time. Raj has the gang time travel into the future during his Kuthar Polly murder mystery. Penny's beer isn't flat and her rack is not saggy. So, so far her future is great. That was pretty hilarious. Stuart has to go to the bathroom. So Raj allows him to get up. Uh, even though he's supposed to be dead. If Penny's career took her somewhere else, Leonard might not come. Knock, 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 mother. Knock, 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 mother. Knock, 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 mother. Sheldon tells her he saw her have sex, or coitus, as he likes to say, but I don't think he had said coitus this time. And then Mary, that's his mom's name, tells Sheldon to go to his room, despite that he's a professional scientist. Stuart thinks Leonard and Penny will be together still in 20 years. Penny says, ah, Stuart, I feel bad for murdering you. Oh, oh no, Penny, why would you do that? Howard goes to talk to Sheldon to try to make things better while he's in his room. Howard feels guilty for his mother not being happy. He tells Sheldon, you may not want to get in the way of your mother's happiness or your mom's happiness. Sheldon's ready to talk, he tells his mom. He tells her that he doesn't want to stand in the way of her happiness. And then Sheldon has the sex talk with his mom. Raj is pouting that Penny spoiled the that she was the murderer in his uh, Kuthra Polly murder mystery. Leonard suggests that they all meet in front of this building in 20 years, regardless of what's going on with everybody. But everybody has to come. And then we have a 20-year time jump, and Stewart is the only one waiting in front of the building. And he says, I knew it, to end the episode. So Stewart knew that nobody else is going to come, but I'm going to come because I programmed it to memory. Because Stewart didn't have a calendar on his phone. He has a flip phone still. Uh, but they had calendars too. I, the... I remember my flip phone from 2005 and 2006 had a calendar on it. So unless it's older than that, then okay. But uh, I, the older ones had phone calendars too. Uh, so that was what ends the episode. So the episode, it, I felt like Sheldon being in Texas took away from the Cuther Polly murder mystery. If Sheldon would have been at the apartment, it would have been a lot better. So unfortunately, I have to give the episode a 6.8 out of 10 because it just didn't have the same feel to it. Uh, of course, I'm going to give Sheldon the character of the episode. Uh, and then oh, Howard almost got it, though. And then Penny, as many of you know, I rate Penny because that's the reason why I started watching The Big Bang Theory. I'm going to score her a 7.6 out of 10. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it's your turn. 
If you're a fan of the Big Bang Theory and want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please make sure that you Hulk smash that like button or hammer fist that like button or however you want to say it. Share the video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget, please don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of the Big Bang Theory. Do you disagree with me or do you agree with me? What would you rate the episode? If you have to choose who would be your character of the episode and if you want to do what I do and rate Penny based on how Penny looks, because that's why I started watching the show, you can definitely do that. And then, of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.